Apa kalian sudah yakin black hole berbentuk seperti ini? Mari kita lihat black hole di pusat bima sakti kita. Lalu kenapa Sagittarius A berbeda bentuknya dengan black hole yang kita kira selama ini? Profesor Kipton dalam sebuah kesempatan menjelaskannya, membandingkan gargantua dari Interstellar dan Messier 87. Ini penjelasannya. This is the image in the movie uh, Interstellar. This is uh, the actual image that was actually uh, made by uh, the radio astronomers. They're not quite the same. I've had a number of people email me say, gee, you really got it right. We didn't get it right at all. There's no crossbar here. And it's brighter on one side. We're not brighter on one side there. So what's going on? Well, here is one way to understand what's going on. Uh, Oliver James, my friend at Double Negative, made this little movie to explain uh, one way this could happen. So the camera for the movie Interstellar is near the plane of the disk, and so that's what it looks like in Interstellar, but we're going to move the camera up to the North Pole and see what happens. It's pretty obvious. You lose the crossbar. And then you blur things out, because the radio astronomers don't have very good uh, angular res resolution. And so you get this, but what you don't get that way is the bright edge. So how come the bright edge? And the answer is that, in fact, there should always be a bright edge, even in the, in the movie Interstellar, uh, because the gas on one side of the black hole is moving toward you, and there's a Doppler shift. So it's shifted uh, to become more blue, but much more intense than uh, the other way. And so why isn't that there? Well, I had discussions with Christopher Nolan. He was the director of this movie. He said, look, Kip, you have to take account of the human eye. And if a human is looking at a very, very bright source of light, they can't distinguish between whether how bright it is and, uh, what, and it being somewhat dimmer on the other side. Ini penampakannya, dua black hole dari dunia nyata, dan satu black hole dari film, ternyata sangat akurat bukan? Semoga wawasan kita bertambah, sampai ketemu di video selanjutnya.